we're going to make a rough sketch of y equals e to the absolute value of x. And let's start by looking at y equals e to the x, our basic exponential growth function that would look like this. Now what happens when we put those absolute value signs in there? I decided to kind of explore with some points. So if we were finding, if x was 1, we would be finding e to the first. If x is negative 1, we would take the absolute value of negative 1 and we would still be finding e to the first. If x is 2, we would be finding e to the second. But if x is negative 2, we would take its absolute value and then we would find e to the second. So what we're going to notice is that the negative x coordinates have the exact same y coordinates as their positive counterparts. So what we'll see is what we normally have as the positive part of the graph for the positive x values is just going to be reflected across to the negative side. 